and welcome to the hand lab video course thumb cmc osteoarthritis optimal orthotic intervention for the mp and ip joints is it possible to reach this same goal with orthotic intervention to either the mp or the ip joint perhaps i do try cmc orthosis but i also block the mp joint in some flexion for example so MP hyperextension creates undesirable postures at the two other joints. It is no different from the kinetic chain of the weight-bearing lower extremities. This edge is the point of counterpressure, and it is very near the bony prominence, and this will be poorly tolerated. Prevent motion in one direction, but would still allow it in another. That is approximately one half of the circumference around the MP joint and the IP joint. It's important that this warm piece of tubing be completely dry when you adhere it to the dorsal piece. To construct this so that you're able to open it to slide it over what is usually a larger IP joint. While maintaining the desired amount of MP joint flexion, gently lift the proximal phalanx while continuing to smooth the contour dorsally over the MP joint. The same problem that we have with the molded splint, and more than likely, the patient is going to need some kind of small pad here proximal to the pressure point. Does she have any pathology here? She saw it that way, that way. Saw it that way, how much does she flex, does she hyperextend? Okay, so she hyperextends normally. She's still not flexing that IP, isn't that interesting? So how, how's your uh, pain at your CMC? Ring splint can be bent and flexed in order to provide more IP flexion. Dorsally around the fingernail before joining the material together on the volar aspect. Take a warm piece of dry splinting material or tubing and dry heat the ends with a heat gun and apply to the splint, applying pressure as you do this to bond the material together. Hold the